nine years ago, I was a Canadian national gymnast and I was very fortunate to travel the world to compete for Canada. But unfortunately, in 2008, during my summer training, my coach asked me to do a skill that has never been completed before. And unfortunately, on the second attempt of the skill, I broke my neck and severed my spinal cord, instantly becoming a quadriplegic. Uh, when I first got injured, it was definitely devastating. I didn't really know what to expect and I didn't really know what my life was going to look like anymore. I always envisioned myself being an Olympian and kind of figuring out my life and career from there. So having that taken away from me, I knew I had to try something new. I knew that my dreams of being a sports doctor were kind of not really realistic anymore and I just kind of had to go within myself and figure out what my new love was and I'd always been obsessed with the media and it had been a big part of my life and I was like if I could tell stories through the media and that be my job that would actually be amazing despite everything and that kind of led to me doing a podcast. Uh, tea Time would take derived from having really great conversations over tea at my kitchen table. I figured I could tell stories while drinking tea and share it with the world. From the podcast, I kind of derived the idea to start my own loose leaf tea line. Um, it just kind of was one of those things where I am obsessed with tea and it's a big part of my podcast and my life. And if I could create a brand that also gives back um, to some kind of charitable foundation, I really want to put a spotlight on mental health awareness because I think a lot of great conversations happen over tea and there needs to be more conversations about mental health awareness. There's so much more that you can still do and just if you are open to change and open to trying something new, um, you might find yourself doing things that actually make you more happy than you ever thought you could be.